Hey everybody, Stephanie Young here again. Sorry for the echo, if there is one. They, yeah, there's, there's been, been an echo for some reason. reason. My microphone now, lately. Today is yeah, the, the second day, second day of May, Thursday. So you know what time it is. You might know what time it is. Time to promote my video game project, Realms of Tokala. The fantasy, agricultural fantasy role-playing game project. That I've, been, that I've been doing for years. Well, anyway, I'm looking through my I have a lot of stuff on in here. There's one I call Cool New Cool. And I really named it to a... Uh, I really named it to a... Uh, what you call it? No, you don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, I really named it. Let's be... Yeah, I'm wrong. Now here's my audacity and all the uh, fruity fruity loops. Well, yeah, here, here we go. go. I call it the Crystalline Cavern and an abbreviated life combined. I 
actually the same as What I'm going to do, I'm going to
maybe it's on them. This is the one I, that I want to do. First, we'll save this and then we'll open a new one. Let's go to strings. We 
my favorite for some reason is the uh, Super Orchestra. It sounds the best to me. Uh, I don't know. Just a little slight. <laughs> I don't know if anyone will ever use these things, but I, I, I would put them all in my uh, Google Drive folder for Project Tokala. By the way, if you don't know what Project Tokala is and the realms of Tokala, yeah. it's an allegorical fantasy role playing game project. Similar to uh, Chronicles of Narnia, except the Aslan and the Lion. Who represents Jesus, obviously. Yeah. As on the one slash Jesus character is a fox named Tokus. And the hero of the story is an angel being called the steward. A steward. There were 12 of them. I just think just like uh, Jesus chose 12 disciples to be his, I guess, inner circle. I mean, he had tons and tons of disciples, but his inner circle, I guess we can call them. His chosen twelve were chosen to represent the twelve tribes of Israel. So I made twelve stewards of the first one, being like the disciple who portrayed Jesus and Judas Iscariot. He's also uh, the uh, the Satan, Satan character, the devil character, demon, demon lord named Jaltaris, and uh, and. Uh, yeah, the, the stewards are angel beings, beings, but they, they still, still keep, keep their powers when they uh, descend to earth, but, uh, well, they, 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 they become mortals, so they become like a humans, uh, yes, yeah, just mortals in general. I mean, the planet uh, doesn't have a lot of humans, and the only humans it has are really the desert people, and I also made a non-flavor race, uh, the Gypsy people. So the only the plain wars are the desert people that are kind of have named the Salami. 
Yeah, that's, that's one, one I uh, came up with, uh, with my friend, Caitlin. She also made another race called the, uh, that I call, I call them the Pale Guardians. So she didn't have a name for them. So I called them, yeah, she didn't have a name for either, so I named them. Salvani, S-A-L-V-A-A-N-I. The bird outside sounds like it's saying, ready to me, ready to me, ready to me, ready to me, ready to me. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, Maybe small. Yeah, being. I think it's 83 degrees outside now. By the way, the reason I do these commercial videos, you can read. He'll be able to read it. He'll be able to read it on my video description. I hope that. Uh, my voice, uh, is not, uh, 
Oh, sorry, sorry. that's a really, really boring thing. thing. Anyway, anyway uh, uh, my team, team and I brain brain brainstormed six playing races, races together. Go back to the uh, uh, channel seven, seven is the uh, the low notes and uh, the thing. Channel five is the. Uh, I think channel five is one. Sometimes when I bleed, I sometimes, sometimes when I delete the uh, channel, and uh, for some reason it mutes.
Sorry. FX. FX con brightness.
go to wind and uh, go up.
Maybe ice rain. rain.
These are all the pads and stuff. Space boys. I like the uh I think it might have been brightness. Cause I thought I saw a bright something or other.
Fantasia. I don't know what Fantasia is. Fantasia, let's try Fantasia.
see the uh, tolls where I'm in.
sounds a little better. Now.
man and land and like fish with the meadows and stuff. But they were driven out of their, their home by the uh, dragon people race uh, called the Tarl Hulrook. Hulrook. H U L T A R L. Apostrophe H U L R U K. It's hard to pronounce that. So I just call them the Tarl Hulrook. Tarl Dragon people, dragons are cursed. So, like dragons, they're, they're big brutes. Uh, yeah, they're cursed to be compressed into a humanoid form. Uh, their their wings were all of all their things, all their extra dragon stuff, except for their tail. They don't have wings anymore. They just have the tail and their bones. Uh, because they were so compressed. I mean, they're still really heavy. I have a character I named from Thunder. He was Tarl Tondar, and they just called him Tondar because he was Omno Tarl, which means uh, he doesn't behave like a dragon, you know, like a like a brute, destructive, evil. Yeah, yeah. The brute, brutish dragon people, uh, Tarl people. Been devastated in War War Raven and kind of made it their own. And, uh, and they forced the Tokal's people to be pirates out on the open sea. They call it the Uncharted Sea because uh, they they all know where they're going. They uh, they all have a sense of direction, so they they know where to go. They don't need maps or anything. You know, there are these islands and then they know called Harmony Islands, but the islands are cursed. And the islands that put a spell on people and make them sing. So it's a hilarious uh, quest where they all have to fight this uh, this Cyclops Kraken, but they're all they're, they all can't really do it because they all, they're all singing and and singing everything they say, breaking all the songs. So the steward gets kind of like a disenchantment stone from the fox god Tokus so he can help them to fight the, the, the kraken and uh, lift the curse off of them, lift the spell off of them. Yeah, that's one quest that I wrote. Some of the quests are interesting, like a like the Salvani Ranch, uh, where you gotta help this rancher, because the, the rivers uh, stop flowing up. Uh, so you gotta line up the cattle on the line to uh, dig up a stomp and a trench down to make the water flow, because uh, his, his farm is all dried up and stuff. Cattle can't eat anymore. Uh, they are in a desert. The Salwani people are in a desert. The desert people. Yes. I named them S A L V A A N I. And that kind of helped my friend make this race. Uh, so I named them, but I also named the other race that she made. Uh, the pale, I named them the Pale Guardians. They're a manufactured race. Uh, Manufactured by an ancient race, of elf, I guess elven race, you know, to uh, to be their slaves, basically. Uh, they they uh, are made to serve others, like their palms, basically. They uh, just they don't have their own willpower. They just do whatever somebody says to them, tells them to do it. But uh, she made a character named Dessa. Now, I had to make the story to make Dessa the leader of her people, considering they don't have uh, any willpower, so I, uh, I wrote a story about her uh, receiving an angel of wisdom from the main uh, side character, the main non-playable, the main NPC. I named her Farah Tay, and she, she's F-A-R-A dash T E Y, she's that Murtani people, one of the Murtani people, yeah. 
they had, they had hyphenated names, most of them, except for one called Jasper. Yeah, the Mertonia, M E R D T A N Y. And they're little elven people. They're almost like little children, nymphs, kind of. They, they have curved spines that they can jump on high. Yeah, they kind of look like children, little round, cute, chibi sort of faces, and they uh, have yeah, long, uh, long ears, like longer, I guess, flappier than most elven races. But unlike most elven races, I think they're, I guess, they're more like dragons. They, I think, I'm pretty sure I made them to lay eggs. And they have well, two, two toes. toes uh, in fact, I, 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 I need to read that up right. Uh, I didn't make the toes where they can grasp. I just used that pre-made rig for feet. Uh, I need someone who can make the toes where they can grasp. And someone who can edit my models. And also, I mean, uh, I made the pretty fluid uh, animations for like running and walking and just a. Uh, Idle pose, but the idle pose is pretty repetitive. It's just the, the uh, character doing the same things over and over. It's just kind of a. Uh, and they're just moving too much. It's not like someone was standing still, not doing much. I guess I was getting impatient with the rigs. And I have only three different rigs, uh, three different animations. Uh, Spell casting, walking, walking and running, and idle. Yeah, so, so that was four. Yes, yeah, so walking, running, spell casting, and just idle. So that's four animations I made. I can't remember much. I had a bunch of strokes in 2019. Took all my brain's logic processing, my vision. I can't see. I can't tie my shoes anymore. I used to be able to sing and I was a singer. Now, sometimes I do like to sing the songs from the game. I've sung this one before. It's a song, uh, the, it's a Murtani folklore song called Tall Farah the Bowl. It was a while in dark night, shadowed heavens the night, but what run by the terrace they know. The Murtani folk had been too often told of ghouls bred of all flesh and bone. The mountains were lit and the moths were up in. And every girl was drawn. Killed woman there as they all rested their heads to await the arrival of dawn. Talvera the bald and her sidekick all shone were unfazed by the arms of his son. As the whole village slept from their quarters, they crept in and into the dim wood and they run. Carried a map and some single poor sap, where they thought that their journey be long. And up as they traveled, the trail had unraveled, the wind held a strong, restless song. But they hadn't gone far off, and were met with an outscot before them, the witch of the wood. The wisp in her hands attuned her commands. Waking the ground where they stood, shrill as the moon up which pierces the night, was a sound that which one would forebode. But long did they hurry, they scampered and scurried down the tower and tortuous road. No, I go the auto captions a YouTube made down the tower and <laughs> torture <a> whistle. <laughs> Thought that was so funny. What was a portion whistle? <laughs> but, uh, anyway, guys, I uh, just wanted to tell you about the game project and how you can, uh, can contribute. Any talent, people of any talent, skill or ability, is 
welcome even people who don't have talents or ability but have a bank account I'm so severely disabled I don't even, I can't even have my own bank account, I just can't figure it out, I can't figure out anything anymore, I used to be good at numbers and figuring out like how to do my own taxes, even without the actual W-2, I can do it just using the last pay stub, I was pretty good at figuring stuff out, figuring out how to buy stuff, and yeah, I was pretty witty at, at one time. But uh, these, these strokes, they took, these made minor, no, not minor, massive strokes took, not only my formerly dominant left hand, but over 60% of my vision, most of my brain's logic processing, my short-term memory was wiped out, some of my long-term memory. And uh, by the way, I don't, I don't think you can see, I'm still wearing, as always, my Eden Star necklace for, from the Lord of the Rings movies. Yeah, it was also in the books. Uh, but that's what this one would look like in the movies, if you can see. It's really pretty, and I don't know try to show it to you closer. Maybe I'll just get it up closer to the end. Well, anyway, guys, God bless you all. Have a good rest of the the week there. Have a good weekend. Uh, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, yeah this, this weekend, uh, John and I, my husband John, we're going to see the Memphis Symphony Orchestra doing tribute to Star Wars music. It's going to be yeah, May the 4th. They're calling it May the 4th Be With You. <laughs> Always love that Star Wars Day anthem. Or the motto, May the 4th Be With You. So anyway, guys, you know I'm really, you can see I'm really tired. I really, really haven't gotten a whole lot of sleep at all. After Bible study last night, we were in Matthew 16. Well, after Bible study, we decided we were really hungry. So we, we, uh, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings in Millington, Tennessee, which is actually open until midnight. So, so that was nice. Nice to let's check, see what this sounds like real quick. No, no. chapter 17 next week in Bible study and I'm excited and I'm also excited to go to that Star Wars concert this Saturday and tomorrow I don't know what I'm going to be doing I'm probably going to have to try a new game or something because I'm kind of worn, worn out from the Fable games because I can't really do much anymore all the save game, save files are gone I don't know, maybe I'll try Starfield again, I don't know. I can't, I can't do much as far as games go. Like, even Skyrim, I have to play in God mode the whole time. 
like that really popular, popular famous popular YouTuber, Shirley Curry. Hey, even Bethesda knows her, and they're like, we love this old lady. And they added her. They actually added her as a voice to their character. And she always played in hang on mode, she called it story mode. Because she's old, and she can't. She doesn't have quick reflexes. I don't have quick reflexes anymore. I don't have my left hand, still it's my dominant hand. I also said I'm lost it. So at least I'm happy uh, trying to keep myself busy, busy uh, doing stuff for short recovery, like trying to relearn programs like this. Well, anyway, guys, see you later. God bless. Bye. Also, yeah, I forgot I always use my title theme that I created years and years ago in Photoshop. And uh, High Logic Font Editor. And, uh, see you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over real time. Bye.